Welcome to the Alpha Blueprint. Here we journey into the intricate labyrinth of male personalities and their interactions. In this labyrinth, there's a type of man who's as elusive as he is intriguing. This man is the Sigma male. Sigma males are a breed apart. They're the lone wolves of the personality spectrum, preferring their own company over the hustle and bustle of social gatherings. They're independent, self-reliant, and march to the beat of their own drum. For them, conformity is a cage they refuse to be trapped in. Instead they carve out their own path, driven by their own rules and their own vision of what life should be. In the world of dating and relationships, Sigma males bring this unique perspective to the table. They don't play by the conventional rules of the dating game and that's where the idea of playing hard to get comes into play. Playing hard to get, a concept as old as courtship itself, is the strategic act of showing less interest in a potential partner to make oneself appear more desirable. It's a dance, a game, a push-and-pull dynamic that, when done right, can create an alluring sense of mystery and desire. But what happens when this game is played with a Sigma male? How does this elusive, independent man react when the object of his interest is seemingly out of reach, playing hard to get? The answer might surprise you. Sigma males, with their independent and non-conforming nature, approach the game differently. They don't chase. They don't plead. Instead, they navigate the game with a certain finesse, a subtlety that's as intriguing as it is effective. So, what happens when a woman plays hard to get with a Sigma male? What is his strategy? How does he turn the tables? And most importantly, what can we learn from his approach? Let's dive in. Unlike the Alpha or Beta male, Sigma males react differently when she's playing hard to get. You see, Sigma males are a breed apart. They're not driven by the same instincts that govern the actions of their Alpha or Beta counterparts. When faced with a woman playing hard to get, a Sigma male won't react the way you might expect. Let's delve into the typical reactions of a Sigma male in such a situation. First off, there's indifference. Unlike Alphas or Betas, who might see a woman playing hard to get as a challenge to conquer, Sigmas are different. They're self-reliant and comfortable in their own skin, they don't need the validation of a woman's attention to feel secure. So, if a woman is playing hard to get, a Sigma male is likely to shrug it off. He won't chase, he won't play the game, he simply doesn't have the time or the patience for it. This brings us to the second typical reaction of a Sigma male. Patience. Sigma males are known for their patience. They're not in a hurry, they have their own pace and they stick to it. If a woman is playing hard to get, a Sigma male won't be phased, he won't rush or push. Instead, he'll wait patiently. He knows his worth and he's not afraid to wait for someone who recognizes it too. Finally, the non-chasing attitude. This is perhaps the most defining characteristic of a Sigma male's reaction to hard-to-get games. Sigma males don't chase. They attract. They're like a magnet, drawing people in with their unique aura and intriguing personality. They don't play games, they don't try to prove themselves, they simply are who they are, and they're confident that the right person will see and appreciate that. So there you have it. The Sigma male's reaction to hard-to-get games is rooted in their self-reliant, patient and non-needy personality. They don't play the game, they don't chase, they don't rush, they simply are. Now we know how Sigma males respond but what do they do in revenge? Let's find out. Sigma males have a unique way of revenge when a woman plays hard to get. This is a phrase that can often be misunderstood. After all, revenge typically implies some form of payback or harm. But for the Sigma male, the concept of revenge takes on an entirely different meaning. In the world of Sigma males, revenge is not about retribution or causing harm. Instead, it's about asserting their independence and self-worth. When faced with someone playing hard to get, a Sigma male doesn't resort to games or manipulation. They don't seek to win or conquer, rather they turn inward, focusing on their own growth and self-improvement. An essential part of the Sigma male's character is his focus on self-improvement. When faced with someone playing hard to get, they don't waste energy trying to break down walls or win over someone who isn't showing interest. Instead, they invest that energy into themselves. They might pick up a new hobby, learn a new skill, or delve deeper into an existing passion. They understand that the most attractive thing about a person is their passion, their drive, and their sense of self. This focus on self-improvement isn't about making themselves more attractive to the person playing hard to get. Instead, it's about becoming more attractive to themselves. The Sigma male knows his worth and strives to become the best version of himself, not for someone else, but for his own satisfaction and fulfillment. While the Sigma male is busy improving himself, he's also pursuing his interests. 
He doesn't put his life on hold or become consumed by the chase. Instead he continues to lead an interesting and fulfilling life. He knows that his value doesn't depend on someone else's approval, and he doesn't need someone else to complete him, he's complete all by himself. By focusing on himself and his interests, the Sigma male becomes more attractive and desirable. He becomes someone who is confident, independent and self-assured. He becomes someone who knows his worth and doesn't compromise it for anyone or anything. It's this transformation, this growth and this self-assured confidence, that is the Sigma male's revenge. It's not about getting back at the person playing hard to get, it's not about winning or losing, it's about showing that they are not defined by someone else's interest or lack thereof. It's about demonstrating that their worth is inherent and not dependent on anyone else. The Sigma male's revenge is subtle yet powerful, but what can we learn from this? Well it's simple, we can learn that our worth is not defined by how others see us but by how we see ourselves. We can learn that self-improvement and personal growth are the best responses to rejection. And most importantly we can learn that the best revenge is not to harm others but to become the best version of ourselves. There are valuable lessons to learn from the Sigma male's approach to hard-to-get games. As we delve deeper into the mind of a Sigma male, it becomes evident that his approach to relationships is not about manipulation or control, but about understanding his own worth and independence. This is the first lesson that we can take away from the Sigma male's playbook. The significance of self-worth. Just like the Sigma male, it's essential for us to know our value and not let anyone, not even a potential partner, undermine it. Knowing your worth means you won't settle for less than you deserve, and that can only lead to healthier and more fulfilling relationships. The second lesson is about independence. The Sigma male is a lone wolf, comfortable in his solitude and not reliant on others for his happiness. This doesn't mean he shuns human connection but rather, he doesn't seek validation from it. This independence is empowering and attractive. It frees you from the need of constant approval and allows you to be content with your own company. Moreover, it helps you maintain your individuality even when you're in a relationship, preventing you from losing yourself in the process of loving someone else. The final lesson is about not being desperate in relationships. The Sigma male doesn't chase after those who play hard to get, and neither should we. Desperation can lead to unhealthy behaviors and relationship dynamics. Instead, focus on yourself, on becoming the best version of you. If someone is genuinely interested, they will appreciate you for who you are, not for how hard you chase. In the end, the Sigma male's revenge is about becoming a better version of himself. That's their secret weapon. They don't seek to punish or get back at those who play games. They simply focus on their personal growth and well-being. And that's a lesson worth taking to heart. A lesson that transcends the dating world and applies to all aspects of life. So, let's take a leaf out of the Sigma Males book and focus on self-improvement and personal growth. Today we've learned a lot about Sigma Males and their unique approach to hard-to-get games. We explored how they react when faced with such challenges, not with frustration but with a cool detached poise. We've seen that their revenge isn't about retaliation but rather about self-improvement and independence. Sigma males teach us a valuable lesson, the power of focusing on self-growth rather than being bogged down by the games others may play. They show us that it's not about winning the game, but about transcending it. We hope this insight into the Sigma male mindset has been enlightening and perhaps even inspired you to adopt some of their strategies in your own life. Thank you for joining us on the Alpha Blueprint. Don't forget to subscribe for more insights into the world of Alpha, Beta and Sigma males. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and remember, be the best version of yourself.